Enchanter Sun is overpowered. Here's everything you need to know to play it. The best item to prioritize right now is Black Cleaver. Like, for the most part, when you pick Senna over other champions, uh, kind of depends on how necessary something like a uh, Black Cleaver is. With this rune set with Airy, you can Q auto and that instantly attacks Black Cleaver. And you can do that pretty reliably too because, like, there's a bit of that time with when Airy comes, and by the time you have your Q up again, you can have it ready. If not, you can just, uh, two autos do the same thing. The main reason you want to prioritize Black Cleaver is just for the laning strength. Uh, going straight up into enchanter items uh, just makes you really weak. You don't have a lot of damage, so you can't trade very well. The only thing you can do is heal and try to sustain, but you don't really have any chance of poking your enemy out of lane. You're properly winning trades against champions that are building towards their some kind of damage, like... The problem with Enchanter Senna is that her damage doesn't scale with the AP that she's buying. She's only getting more healing. As a result, like your laning pace is very weak if you rush straight into it. If you really are committed, you could just go Helia, and it's like it's fine as a first item. However, I would heavily prioritize buying Black Cleaver over Helia. People like really like Helia, just as a, as an item in general on Senna. And it works really well because Senna has to stack her autos to get her Q back. So it kind of synergizes with that thing. Alright, let me put a, an ally. It's like not bad damage and it's pretty good. It's cheap. The thing that deters me from advocating for this item further is that Echoes of Helia pretty much provides... A 150 additional healing uh, each time you Q, uh, in addition to a little bit of damage, which is a good amount, but her Q, one, is AoE, and this is only a single target, and two, this number becomes so ridiculously high that there are just stronger amplifiers. So one option that I prefer is to go something like Arden Center, if your team needs it. Uh, if there's like one other auto attacking champion, that's good enough for me, just because it ends up being a bit better later on. At specifically two items, I'd say this is worse than Helia, but once you have your other items, this becomes better. Uh, damage wise, it's about the same, maybe even higher. Just because, uh, not only are you applying the buff to yourself, you're applying it to, a, in theory, an ally, and they're gonna get the damage there. Uh, additionally, this item has more AP, and it has move speed, which is really important on I mean, supports in general. It also has heal and shield power, which uh, is going to be a pretty important amplifier to your Q. That's how, at low econ, you will have massive heal numbers. I think Moonstone is a very good buy on, on this Senna, but I th would not consider it until you have at least one enchanter item beforehand. Uh, either Helia, or in most cases, at least in my opinion, uh, Ardent. Moonstone amplifies the healing and shielding you already have, but early on, this number doesn't get that high, and it doesn't get that frequent in how often you can use it. So I feel like it just has more value as a second item, or as a, sec as a second enchanter item. And then third, I usually just go Dunglor. Who, like, I think Von Course becomes about optimal around, like, as your third enchanter item, depending on whether you're, you have Black Cleaver or not, what item you get. But I think it, in most games, what you want to be looking for is Black Cleaver, enchanter item, Moonstone, Dawn Core. Uh, 
down core scaling with your mana regen and it gives you a lot of heal and shield power and AP, uh, which becomes more valuable the more of the other stats you have. It's effectively the death cap in this build on enchanters. So I like you can get it earlier, but I feel like other items have enough utility that I think it warrants buying them first. Just like how you can rush death cap if you really want to, but a lot of other items have their utility that you might prefer. As for your actual support item upgrade, uh, you have options. I think the default is going to be take Dreammaker. Dreammaker is, is just very good. If you're playing around your Q, uh, it just has a good uptime. You can also go like the, the other ones. Like There aren't really bad choices. Maybe Zazax is probably bad, but I think the other ones have their use. Plus on, like, it scales in the exact, it does the exact same thing it does on normal AD Senna. So it's good in the same situations. You can take it if you need more damage. Celestial Opposition works in the same cases. If you're getting engaged on by, like, a Nautilus or something, like, this item is great. Uh, like, you're not going to need it in most games, but if you do, like, it's perfectly fine to take it. And then Salsa Slay, uh, I think stats-wise it's kind of similar to Germanager. Uh, you can proc it with your Q, so it's pretty good. Uh, and this, this healing and shielding scales with, uh, all the other stats. For, I mean, it's, okay, it scales with heal and shield power. So, as for, like, which one's better between Dreammaker and Soul Slay, it's kind of just preference. I think knowing when to buy the others, slash opposition, Blood Song, is a bit more important. As a rule of thumb, Salsa Slay is better when you have a stronger team. Uh, that you want to be using your Q more aggressively to look for picks. Uh, you use your Q to catch an enemy and then your teammates can follow. And Dream Maker is more when you're playing on the back foot, when you're playing the scale. Uh, the enemy team is a bit stronger and you want to be able to protect your team if they're engaged on. But apart from the core I described, there's a couple other items you can consider in different spots, just depending on uh, what you like, if you, how much you think they're necessary. Uh, you have Shirelius, which has its active. It has similar stats to Ardent's, but it lacks the damage, but if you need the move speed, it's perfectly fine. Another one's Mandate. Uh, I think I saw people rating this one quite highly. The effect is good, you can proc it pretty easily. It doesn't have heal shield power, but it has haste, so it's not bad. Uh, I, think the, uh, I think other items just generally ha are more valuable. I think this is kind of a worse version of Ardent on Senna in particular. But I mean, if you you can get away with buying both, this is, that's another one of the items that you can kind of slot in first if it's not a Black Cleaver game. Next you have Locket, which a lot of people defaulted to before they enchant their buffs. I think this is a good item, but I think this is a good item after you get your big shielding items, your big he like healing items. Like once you already have both Moonstone and Dawncore, would I then consider going Locket? Because the, just the amount of value you get from the healing outweighs the amount you get, you, you get from Locket. Uh, Locket doesn't scale with your AP ratios. It only scales with your heal shield power. So, because the buffs were so heavily AP skewed, uh, Locket performs a little worse relatively than the other items. However, it still is very valuable with just the raw heal shield power that you get. And I think after the Senna's nerfed, whatever they decide to do, which probably will be AP ratio nerfs and then some composition buff, I think Locket will be a bit more viable in this build. Other miscellaneous items? Yeah, RFC, same as always. Uh, a little bit nicer to buy than before because they nerfed Senna's attack speed scaling, or they nerfed her like scaling per level. So, it's not bad. However, it's not that necessary. Edge of Night, the same thing as it's always been. Uh, spell Shield to keep you safe in the early game. You would only take this... I mean, if you're taking this, you're kind of straying away from Enchanter Senna. But, like, it's still a good item, nonetheless. Lastly, an item I want to talk about is... Hurricane. Because of the interaction it has with her Q. Uh, right now, the flavor of the month, like, as is the title of this video, is Enchanter Senna, and 
hitting multiple targets with the bolts gets your Q faster, and your Q is your healing ability. So there is a place where after you buy like Dawncore, you look for Hurricane, and not only are you healing for a ton, you're healing for a ton very quickly. It also synergizes with items like Ardent and Black Cleaver, just as applicators of them, so it's very strong. It, like, if you do end up getting to light game somehow, you can look for this. Like, I, I, I have no boots, but... One of the things that your Q applies runes, so if you're healing stuff, you get like a partial refund uh, from the bolts. Now with that out of the way, let's talk about how to play her in-game. Senna's laning overall has gotten stronger with the patch because they buffed the base healing on her Q and they increased her W root. So all of this being regardless of what she builds. Overall, Senna is still isn't the strongest laner, uh, especially on non-damage builds like Enchanter Senna, but is much better at surviving and scaling than in the past. Like I said while explaining items, if it looks like your team can benefit from you buying Black Cleaver, you probably should because this will increase your lane presence and it'll make your trading a lot stronger while also being very good for your team in the mid and late game. If you are going the Hellier route, you're not going to be playing very aggressively in lane. One thing you can look for is using your Q through your ally to try to also hit the enemy. Otherwise, trading isn't going to be very worth it because you don't actually have the damage to match most matchups. Your damage won't be that high, so it's better to just play safe in lane Poke while you can, but not to overextend. Because Enchanter Sandalin is mostly focused on healing, souls don't really matter that much, so it, you don't need to greed for souls if it will cost you some health or your life. In lane, you can also hit minions to help refund your Q cooldown, but be careful about messing up the wave for your partner, so try to only hit enemy minions that aren't being targeted by your minions. In the mid game, you want to play around your strongest allies. Most preferably will be melee champions, as you can easily hit the enemy while also healing your ally. You're going to posture far back like you would on normal Senna, but you can still try to use your Q aggressively for the strong slow. Like any other enchanter, it's up to your team to make the plays and for you to protect them.